Now let me welcome on to the field of 68 here live in the Park MGM. We are actually in Las Vegas, Mick. It looks like we're in a dentist office right now. I know. What the hell's going on in our setup? We get something behind. Yeah. Somebody dealing blackjack behind <laughs> yeah. us? I, I wish. Hey, if look, they are. I can't play blackjack for a answers. while. I'm going to need a little bit of time to, some time off. Yeah, to reassess count. the funds. He can't count. When they deal it, he looks at the cards. And, and you know what? Like yeah. if it's a double down, the dealer last night Was already put, had the card flipped it over took me a second him. to do the math like i'm sitting there looking at it i'm getting a massage <laughs> i've had a couple of drinks and oh, you're getting the neck thing oh yeah it's the oh, whole it thing. Great. so you I come was... you get the whole thing <laughs> yeah yeah i had the, the chair turned around with the pillow it's right embarrassing there. To be with. i'm oh, sitting there trying not to fall asleep dumping all the money on the blackjack table what's going on man how you doing i'm good see i don't have the time change issues <laughs> yes. you know with the travel so, brutal you know i'm not falling asleep not anymore you don't no you had them you had them years ago how, how's anymore. the team looking? I mean, this is like the I ultimate revamped practice. UCLA oh, team. Oh, that is true. Yeah. Like, I can't name a – I mean, I yeah. – like, I can. can you, I can. I can. Can I, we start with this? It, Burke. Yes. Can you spell his last name for me? Uh, I should be able to. All right, let's do it. I, I Come mean, on. I got it in front of me. Um, Come on. Well, I like – I can't even start well, with it. Yeah, but you can chill. <laughs> See, B I told you. I told you that's how you pronounce it. B-U-Y-U. Yep. C nope uh, K K K T yeah D M C E L uh, you got I it you, that's it yeah U N C L yeah I don't know you kind of got it yeah, yeah, yeah not bad not bad how good is he how good are these I'll these give, kids you can spell a dime okay. more <laughs> I can do that I can do that one how how good are the because that's what everybody is gonna want to know yeah, about this I know. UCLA team you got a bunch of dudes that nobody's heard of so, no well, I mean, you heard freshmen so. And, and international, like yeah, right. whoever would well, have thought, whoever would have thought Mick Cronin would have went like full international. Like if, if I had told you that five, yeah, six yeah. years ago. Well, you know, Larry Davis and I used to try to figure out every way we could get a player. Cincinnati, a hard recruit, yeah. especially when we, when the Big East blew up and you're in the American. It's like, you know, yep. the kids are like, what, what conference you in? You know, it's like. Who we you play get somebody out of Europe, they won't even ask what conference you're in. And you and I talked <laughs> earlier, that yeah. used to matter. Now yeah. nobody knows. The kids don't ask because they don't even know what the hell or care yeah. what – they want to know what the NIL program is, not what conference you're in. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we when we thought about it and talked about it, I said Larry went over. Uh, we tried to get the big Karnowski guy, which is <laughs> – we went to Poland. Yeah, you yeah. Know, we we thought about it, but um, you know, times have just changed. I mean, you see Real Madrid beat beat the Mavs yesterday. Uh, there's just so many good players over there, uh, and there's nowhere for them to play once they turn 18. You know, so you either got to play on the big team. Yep. Or if uh, you're not good enough. Well, they're not good enough. Right. So you get farmed yeah. out to a they they over there. If they sign you, then they loan you out. Yep. They put you in yep. a remote town with some guy in your roommate. You know, some guy smoking cigarettes. It's 35. <laughs> Look, you know, for Jan Vide, I mean, you know, he's a young kid. He's better off at UCLA. I mean, yeah. you know, just to bring, you know, use his name as an example. Um, he played for Real Madrid. He's not good enough to play for the big team. Yeah, yeah. So if he signs there, they farm him out. Yeah. And God know to God knows who. Yeah. And does he, does he play? How much does he play? You know, his career it's it's yeah. career suicide almost. So it's it's a great thing now to have you know have these kids have the opportunity. And most of them are all elite students, and they yeah. want the education. So it's it's been a great thing. We're just we're we're, we're a little young though. Yeah, well, but we're talented. Different than what you've been. We got talent though. I mean, it's got to be weird though for you because you came in and I mean Tiger were there. Yeah, and you had them the whole time, and you could rely on them the whole yeah, time. They were winning tough. They were your type of players. Like we talked about, Mick Cronin players at Cincinnati. Those were kids that would have played. You, so was Dave. You, you might not have gotten them. But. Dave five years. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, or that's right. Four, yep. played five. Dave's just a soldier. Cody, yeah. uh, Cody Riley was. I was checking. He's in Israel, so I'm, mm -hmm. he's okay. Is he good? good? Yeah, yeah, he's okay. He's not. He's thinking he's up near Haifa. So, um, but those guys were just. They were soldiers. Yeah. I mean, they were soldiers. So what? What are the expectations for this team? I mean, you have no idea. I would have. I like that. You do. Yeah, I, I think it's, you know, because we'll see. I mean, look, you, you, you do this long enough, um, you have to enjoy the evolution of what we do, right? I mean, it's it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you have a business, you develop some employees, and, you know, they don't leave. You reap the benefits of it. You make a lot of money in your business because you got great employees. Well, in our world, they graduate and they go pro. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and it just so happened the year those guys graduated, you know, Amari was – 
we went pro. Now, fortunately, the key for uh, you know Dem's back, yep. And, yep. And, and you know he's uh, he's a very underrated. I don't think I really think if if a Dem doesn't break his nose, uh, and we snuck in a quick surgery, and he put a mask on and kept playing. Now, how many guys do that? Not a lot. No. And he had and the, the shoulder kid. thing right. in the tournament, too. Yeah. You know, um, so he, 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 but if we stay healthy, and Adem in particular stays healthy, and we go on and win it all or go yep. to the final game, Adem's probably first-round pick. Yeah, that's how true. Do you, how do you play Adem and a day together? Um, yeah, that's not hard. Really? <laughs> no, it's not hard at all. Because Adem Bona can guard point guard. But that's can he step thing. out? Can he step out and shoot it another well, day? That's so thing. the good thing. The good you, thing you told me today it's an elite passer, right? A, a die. A die. A die. Sorry, a die. A die. It's all right. We're going to keep doing this. <laughs> over I, and over. I can, and I can over. get buked and chill, but I can't get a die. I know. Um, <laughs> yeah, and they both can make the foul line shot. Okay. You know, you know and we've spent, you know, the, the one thing that's helped it down, because he's been healthy all summer. Yeah. But we haven't let him bang yet, okay. so we he spent months on his skill level, yeah. you know, yeah. with his shooting in particular, yeah. you know, ball skill, passing, shooting. So you know those those guys in the in the high low, and and look, we got Kenny Nuba back in his six you know his six year one of six year guys, and he's re, he's a pretty solid player now. Like I would tell you, if he wouldn't have got hurt at the beginning of the second half, we would have beaten Gonzaga. Yep. He couldn't feel his leg, though. You know, he had a pinched nerve deal he had been dealing with late in the year. Um, so, you know, our front line's got a chance to be pretty formidable. And and, and you love uh, – And you can play two bigs. I mean, mm-hmm. to answer your question. Yeah, you know, yeah. no, you people know, have done it. It's again, not common. You knew me back in the old Big East days. Everybody, everybody. did. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Like, if you didn't do it, like – We would get killed. It was a slug fest, right. and you would never get yeah. a rebound. Yeah. You know, and the, what was a foul in the Big East um, – wasn't you know what what was a foul in the rest of college basketball back then <laughs> was not a foul in that the good old in, days in the old in this 2010 <laughs> yes. Big East oh so good no blood no foul I mean it was and you know Hashim to beat and Jeff Adrian yeah yeah you, you, you know guys like I mean Georgetown when they rolled in with Hibbert Green Summers and Young and Pat Junior mm-hmm. yep. so I mean you you can play big I would say this to you guys strategically if you play big you got to be good defensively and dominate the yeah, yeah. Which me, those two have a chance dam, to do. Having yeah. a dam is a big uh, part of that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it, you know, a dam's health is important for us. So what about point there, guard? I mean, you, you mentioned uh, you mentioned Jan already. Two naturals, Dylan Andrews, yeah. and uh, and and you know, at UCLA there's been an evolution. Like there's just always another guy, Dylan Andrews and Jan Vide. Now Sebastian Mack is a combo guard, um, very underrated, uh, very underrated okay. high school recruit. Uh, very explosive, fast guy. I'll probably you know have him more on the attack scoring mentality um, this year. Yep. But um, you know those guys are all all ball handlers. How Is many it, different languages are you speaking in practice? <laughs> nah, the, the, <laughs> one. Um, Mick's got one. It, it, got it, one. it includes a lot of profanity. I got one in, in, in <laughs> un poco español with, with a die. You know, with a die sometimes you know I, I drop into Spanish. The problem was the other day. I told you know Burke was playing defense. So I was trying to get him wall, you know, wall up with his hands up, and I told him Mono Cereba. And he looked, he goes, Coach, I, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. I was like, I can't, I, I, you know, now Jan Vide speaks Spanish, even though he's Slovenian because yep. he played for Real Madrid yeah, yeah. Uh, for three years. So um, it's comical. You, you I, love I Burke, think right? I, I do think it's funny that all of these guys are coming from Europe and their first experience with the American language is. McCronin, yes, and Irish. <laughs> you know, there's an Irish. You know, there is an Irish version. I was telling the guy, there's Irish American. He goes, "What's that?" I said, "Well, there's you know these these words. You know, it all starts with F." <laughs> You'll hear a lot of those. You know, a lot you of know, those. These are the Irish American version of our language. He's like, he's like, coach. He just shakes his head. <laughs> Give people a, a feel because you you love Burke. I mean, you've been oh, raving yeah, to me yeah. about him for He's months. He's a little, now. you know, Burke, you know, the die is still a baby um, physically in the face and everything. Burke's a year old. So, yeah. like, a die just turned 18 in the spring. Burke's 19. So, he's he's got more experience. Um, he's just a, like, for Turkish, the Turkish national team, Burke's a workhorse. Like, this doesn't happen. You don't play uh, on the 19 and under team where they medal yeah. and they blow out the USA. And, He's an all-tournament 
and then they put you on a plane to go play on the 20 and under team. And what people, unless you know international basketball, like they do training camps are crazy hard. So by the time that's over, you're pretty tired. Worn out. Yeah. They yep. just put him on the plane right to the 20 and under because they needed him to help them qualify for ne whatever next year yep. or whatever. whatever. Like, um, what is he, Mick? He's you've, a, you've said like, he's if a you bigger watch those high NBA right? guys, like the Bogdanovich guys, yeah. you know, yeah. he's six nine yeah. and he's he's every bit of six nine. Is he? And he, you know, he's got big shoulders. He knows how to play. He's competitive, but he can play inside and out. So he can shoot the three, yep. Yep. but he can really pass. Like if you looked at his stats, I don't think he did. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I heard you guys yep. talk about it. I mean, you know, in this summer, he, there's times where he led his Turkish team in scoring. Other time it was block shots. Other time it was assist. Other game it was rebounds. So he just can yep. get a lot done yep. for you. How do you replace – the leadership that you lose That's with Tiger place, and Jaime. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, those guys were – they were stalwarts. Yeah, you know, the good thing about it is we do have returning players. So they do – know. you know, Will McClendon's a guy you guys won't ask me about, but he's going to surprise everybody. Okay, he's a kid that – Vegas, uh, they didn't play their senior year because of COVID. was his senior year. They just didn't play. Um, so then he comes in, tears his ACL. So now he's been played in two years. And he had a violent tear of his ACL, so he doesn't come back till December. And he's trying to fit in on a team that's – every game's huge because we're trying to get a one seed, your top five in the country, and it's just a lot of pressure got bothered him. And his knee was not right. And, it didn't, and when you go through that, mentally he wasn't right. So he's right again, and he's got great leadership skills uh, defensively, his toughness, he plays – like you can see when I start talking about a Mick Cronin type guy. Yeah, yeah that's you know him. You know me long that's enough. Him. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we and Kenny knew, but Adem's got uh, you you guys are getting ready to interview Adem yeah. and Lazar. Like Lazar is I I didn't know I just knew Lazar. I liked him. He yeah. could score, he's got size, he's an athlete. What a kid. Like really? unbelievable person. Just great leadership. Um, I'm trying to get him to be more vocal. But Adem bonus, I like. I mean, awesome the guy's kid, got right? like the personality. Yeah. I mean, he's like a walking reality show waiting to happen. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Why? What he's we... just, I mean, the guy's, he's never had a bad day. Like, he walks in every day, he's smiling. Even, so every even day. even when you're uh, MFing him, he's yeah. still smiling? Ev, ev, I mean, ev, I mean, the guy, <laughs> the guy, like, he's, he is like, you know, you come in one day and you're, you haven't slept, you're down, you're mad about your team. And he's the guy, he, you know, he's straight. He's you come in the gym and he's running over, hugging you. Well, coach, what's up? And it's like you can't, can't like, be mad at him. Yeah. I mean, he's just every NBA team that interviewed him, he told, he, they don't, it was funny. They, they were at practice the other day with an open one for the pro guys. Yeah. Guy said, you know, I've never interviewed a guy that started off his interview. He said, I'm going back to school. <laughs> Did he really? Right away. He goes, but, you know, I, I, I'd like to, for Go you to tell this. me what I can get, what you want wow. me to get better at. Wow. He's like, but they, they all, the bring, I bring it up, the point being that they're like, what, what a kid. Yeah. The guy's yeah. Off the charts. Yeah. 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 So his leadership. But we have returning players. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so Dylan was in the program. Will was in the program. Kenny Newber played in the Final Four. So, you know, we have our standard. And I keep doing it. Well, you got to remind the assistant coaches and the players every day. You can't just, well, we practiced, we worked on this, and now the freshmen, they got it. Right. No, 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 no. It's going to take time. It takes time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and, like, sometimes it takes two years with certain players. Mm -hmm. Right. Hopefully you, know. hopefully you don't have that. No, but it does happen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, everybody in life don't come on their freshman year. Sometimes it does. Like, Amari got uh, – exponentially better during the season last year and so was it them so it's just it takes time i mean it's just not going to be an overnight process with everybody all right so we're, we're at pac-12 media day i know i was going to wear an the, undertaker's the... outfit <laughs> that would be classic yeah, I thought of it. oh it would have been so good well, i mean what's this like it, 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 i'm a i'm an arizona guy it's weird it, it is just weird being out here they're shooting until 21 guns <laughs> at the funeral Pretty much. Yeah. They got, they, got a, they, they, they got them outside. I'm not crying yet. I'm not crying yet, though. Oh, it's, a whole, it's, it's unusual, to say the least. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, we look, we're in an era uh, where this is, for me, this is old hat. Yeah. I was in the Big East when it broke up. Right. right. You know, 
So, you know. Life will go on. I'm the Grim Reaper. Yeah, I was going to say, are you the bad luck <laughs> charm? Yeah, the, Does the Big Ten have to look out exactly. now? Exactly. If I come to the conference, it's going to break <laughs> That's out. That's it. Where are you going next? Big Ten's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the hell? You know, so, I, I mean, what do you do? It's just, look, we, we can go on. It's the whole thing's sad for West Coast basketball fans that love the Pac-12 and the players, like a lot of my friends have that are played at UCLA, that their legacy, like Don McLean's the leading scorer ever in the Pac-12. You know, now there's no Pac-12. It's it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Sad. The the last thing I wanted to ask you about was Dylan Andrews. Yeah. He is a guy where I think he had a little bit of hype coming in. Um, He showed some flashes, and now he's going to be stepping into that kind of starring point guard role. What What have you seen out of him this summer? Um, what have you seen out of from practices? Dylan's got talent. It's just, you know, how many minutes can he handle? Um, as, as I tell him every day, you know, Tiger's not coming back. You know, so the difference is you got to show up every day. Mm-hmm. You know, when you got when, when you're a young guy and you got, you know, a top five team in front of you, you can come in and help them, but you don't have to be ready every day. You know, because you know, the coaches are focused on that. Now they're focused on you. Like, like, dude, you got to show up every day. And that's, you know, that's going to be – for all these young guys, we talk about how long is it going to take yeah. certain guys. You know, until you can show up every day, you're really not a real guy that people like you guys talk about. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, you got to show up every day. And he's got the talent. And no, you know, a lot with – my thing with Dylan is um, – He's not Tiger, so he's going to do things. He he brings different strengths to the table. Um, you know, they he, he's he's a better defender. Uh, he's taller. Um, he shoots it better. You know, he doesn't run the team the way Tiger could run your team. But how many guys do? Not a lot. Yeah, right. you know. Not so you got you know I got to let him be good at what he's good at, and and you know he's also such a nice kid. I can bother him at times, so I have to watch. My intensity yeah. level with him. Yeah. I'm gonna have to have my arm around him a lot. You know, mm-hmm. it's just you got to coach guys differently. And he, you know, he's such a nice kid. You know that he 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 wants to please me. You know, and it's like just please me by playing really really Play hard, hard. Try yeah. to be smart. But I got to, you know, I can't. You know, the, you, you just got to have. You got to know how to coach each guy. Like I can say whatever I want to with them. It's gonna make him play harder and kill somebody, <laughs> you know, and attack the rim harder. Like with Dylan, I got to make sure I handle him a certain way early in his career because he doesn't want to make mistakes. He could be feeling the pressure, you know, being at UCLA. So you got to watch that as a coach. Last one I got for you is just being an Arizona guy. The Arizona you UCLA. Well, uh, well, I mean, listen. Is that where you graduated from? Yes. Oh. Well, I mean. Did I graduate? I don't know. <laughs> I went there. It took me five it and a half COVID years. took year before COVID year existed. Five and a half years. <laughs> I mean, why the hell would I want to graduate? Go back to the weather in Boston? Uh, Come on. Uh, you know the deal, right? You want to go back to Cincinnati? Now? No comment. <laughs> uh, for, for, for certain restaurants and my buddies. All right, yes. that's fine. That's fair. Uh, Arizona, UCLA, where does it stand with you and Tommy trying to keep this thing? Yeah, we talk. So, you know, Tommy and I talked about it. We talked about it this morning. You know, it's just that we got to get our schedules. The problem is we, we don't have our schedules. Like, I don't know how many games we're going to play in the Big Ten. Are we in the Gavit games or are we not? Um, how long am I in the CBS Sports Classic? You know, what, what, you know, what, what am I locked into? MTU, what is he locked uh, into? Yeah, yeah. But really from our conferences, because I think the Big 12, they have a challenge now. They do. Mm-hmm. Yep. ACC or ACC, something like that. I think I it moved, know. right? Yeah. I can't they keep won't track. the Big East. The, the, there's yeah. Yeah. 1,800 right. conference yeah. challenges. Exactly. So you want, you'd want like so to be able to games? continue this, but but you have to see what your schedule looks like first. When and where. It's yeah. just a matter yeah. of when. You'll play them. It's just a matter it just, of when. You don't know if it'll be every year. Well, it's just, it could be. You just got to see right. when. Would you like to? I mean, have you guys talked about? No, the, we haven't gotten that. Anymore. You haven't. It's when when can we get started? Is really. I just want to see. Is, is the big we is, 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 here's our conversation. Yeah. What's the Big Ten told you? Yeah. What's the big and, and you both say nothing. They, that's the problem. Right. We don't know yet. I just want to see who is more. Think about this. And will it be new? You might have more international home. guys the next time you play them. You we might have, have more international. I know seven. you seven. Oh, what do you have? Right. We have seven. I think he is seven or eight. Yeah. I mean, you've been competing him for international guys. 
Yeah. Well, look, you know, we, next year we can have all Southern California guys. So yeah. you just don't, yeah. you know, we, we got to through, you know, figure it out. Well, we get, it's yeah. just, it it's all a year by year off, thing you, now. You know, we signed so many guys this year. We signed eight guys. It's, it, you know, people said, well, you, you know, you only have one commitment. Well, you can't keep signing eight. We're not the football team. Right. Mm -hmm. The good thing is you have no hair left anyway with all these young yeah, guys. Yeah, so yeah. you'll be okay. Hey, look, man, when yeah. I came to California, do you think I was going to coach in the Big Ten? No, hell no. With the transfer portal and NIL. Right, right. right. You know. It's crazy, the right? Whole, yeah, yeah. But the, look, man, nowadays, uh, you know, like I'm a California guy. You just get to surf <laughs> for it. You just ride the waves, man. Are you surfing now? You just, Imagine, I, Mick. It, come it, on. It, I, we need look, video of this. There's no way. I have no knees. There's so, no way no, you're I, surfing. I, I, I have no knee. My, no, I, my, my right knee has been shot for 30 years. So I would love if you said to me, like, what's a cool thing you wish you could do? Yeah. Uh, what about like, can we get, can we get, definitely make, if we come out there, can we like, get the coolest how about skateboarding is. down, down one of those, you know, scooter, scooter. Scooter. I got I scooters. Scooter. Yeah, I'm not skateboarding. No. Scooters. I mean, <laughs> I could skate. <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> you that's could. Like old I'm not sure you could. That's old. Oh, I could skate. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without falling come off. Come on. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get this done the when scooter. I come out there. Uh, you got, like people where we live, we own like, I own two scooters. So you're out there. Is you you skateboarding? Is that like Goodman saying that he could dunk still? Years he ago, does. I never yes. said I could he dunk says today. He could dunk. And he I also told us the other that. day. Yeah, he told us the other oh, day he can go, still yeah. throw a football sixty five yards. Sixty five yards. He said sixty five yards. Not accurate. Not accurate. I could throw it from here sixty five yards. And I played in the NBA. <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> So yeah, you come, you guys come out. We'll get some scooters. We'll right, ride around. Right. We'll head down Santa Monica. All right, I'm in. I'm in. All right, know, life's great. Good, saying, you just ride the waves. <laughs> I wish I could. There are a lot of waves. A lot <laughs> of waves. I, I, you, you know this when uh, Keanu Reeves almost killed himself mm -hmm. to, at the beginning of Point Break when he was trying to. That would be me. Yeah, but nobody would dive under to save me. Out. Like, like the, girl, see the girl dove That's under. Right. Everything's movies with me. So. Yeah, the team would be like, I guess we don't have practice today. He's done. There he goes, coach down there. <laughs> I sleep with the fishes. <laughs>